I'm back with another video for you today talking to you about a new fragrance brand called Nativa. This is a line of fragrances inspired by the native flowers of exotic destinations. We're going to discuss six fragrances that is currently available to purchase from this brand and also offer a giveaway of three bottles to USA and or Canada subscribers all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If you love watching fragrance reviews, lists, finding out about new brands and new fragrances, and participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos. And of course, if you are a giveaway winner, so that you get that notification. Anyway, today I'm excited about this line of fragrances, Nativa. They reached out to me and they said, we'd love to have you review uh, our fragrances and I looked them up a little bit and I found out that they were fragrances inspired by flowers and I love flowers. I grew up in a family of flower lovers so my mom and dad both loved flowers. Gardenias were their favorite flowers but there was always flowers in the house and it always smelled like flowers so when they said the fragrances were inspired by exotic destinations, flowers from exotic destinations, I was like okay I really would love to check these out especially since now I'm getting more and more into floral fragrances. These will be really uh, ones that I wanted to explore and find out about. So as I said at the intro, we're doing three bottles giveaway to subscribers of this channel from USA and or Canada. And you get to pick the one that sounds the best to you. And I'll tell you about the giveaway at the end. But let's go ahead and uh, find out a little bit about the brand. So the brand was started by a uh, woman by the name of, or she's a co-founder of Nativa, her name is Hope Freeman, and she has worked in the fragrance industry for 25 plus years. She worked at IFF, International Flavors and Fragrances, and uh, so she, obviously this was a given that she would start her own brands beca brand because she has so much experience in creating so many fragrances. I'll have a list of the fragrances she's created in the info box below if you're curious to check out. But the six fragrances that were launched uh, three in 2016 with the first one being St. Martin and then the second one being Jamaica and the third one being the Bahamas. These three fragrances were created by Hope Freeman who is a co-founder as I said with perfumer Laurent Ligurnac. And then in 2017 they released three more fragrances St. Thomas, Aruba and Dominican Republic. So St. Thomas and Dominican Republic were created by uh, Hope Freeman and Laurent Ligurnac again, but Aruba was created with Hope Freeman and Jean-Marc Chalin. So two well-known perfumers with Laurent Ligurnac being the more familiar with me and more well-known, but let's go ahead and get started and offer you my first impressions of these six fragrances. The fragrances come in boxes like this. This is St. Martin. The fragrances are all, are all EDP and are 100 ml for $125. So the price is really good. $125 for fragrances are amazing, especially for niche fragrances. It's not $200, it's closer to the $100 mark. And you actually have designer fragrances that sell for around this price range. So you're getting niche at a really great price. So $125 for 100 ml. Just a little bit about the packaging. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You've got all the information in the back, but the front here has the logo and the island. So this one's inspired by St. Martin. And then the flowers listed here, the flower there and the name, which is hibiscus. Uh, so this is all about hibiscus flower. And of course you have EDP and 100 ml, all that good stuff written here. So let's open this up. I'll give you my very first impressions of this as I've never smelled these before. And I'm very, very curious and I love hibiscus because I love drinking hibiscus tea and uh, really, really beautiful flower actually. So here we are. Inside here is some beautiful floral design. I think it's basically for the, the actual flower. It looks like the flower that they're you know, creating the fragrance with, the hibiscus flower. And within the box, there's some writing in here. I'm gonna put my glasses on because I can't see. In here it says flaming crimson petals bloom against velvet leaves. Hibiscus swaying gently in the tender breeze of reminiscence. So you can read it. But I'm very excited about this fragrance. So let's go ahead and smell it because, yep, that's, that is a hibiscus flower as you can see. So we'll see how this one is. Okay, several sprays there because I love the way these smell. 
So this one, it says, the velvety petals of the breathtakingly beautiful hibiscus flower, a flame in crimson, radiant, and exuberant, exuberant, create the perfect landscape for this extraordinary fragrance. It's beautiful, actually. It's really floral, which also features essence of orange flower, mimosa absolute, jasmine, mist, amber, droplets, and sheer musk. This is really, really beautiful. It's a floral. So these, I'm assuming these kind of lean feminine because they are floral, but to me, I, I don't really have a sex for perfumes, and I'm pretty fine wearing floral fragrances and really strong masculine fragrances. It's depending on my mood. So this is really gorgeous. I love it. It is a bit musky, which I also like. It's a clean musk. And I think it captures the hibiscus really, really well um, here. So this is gorgeous. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with what I'm smelling right now so far. And for the price, $125, that's pretty darn good. So that's hibiscus uh, flower from the island of St. Martin by Nativa for $125. So let's try the next fragrance, similar, Nativa, we've got uh, Jamaica. This is Lignum Vitae. So I don't know this flower at all, so we're gonna find out all about it. But there is a, you know, the, the little flower right there, as you can see as well. Beautiful, as you can see inside we have different flowers. This is what the Lignum Vitae looks like. And again, we have something written in here as well. So the bottle, similar to the other one. So let's go ahead and smell Lignum Vitae from Jamaica. It says the addictive purple blush of the enchanting Lignum Vitae flower, abundant with iris luscious petals, cost its amazing charm within the intoxicating fragrance, which also features juicy mandarin, plumeria blossoms, vanilla crystals, sheer vetiver, and white musk. All right, white musk again. All right, so this one is the Lignum Vitae flower from Jamaica. So this one to me smells very beachy, very tropical, a bit coconutty. I don't know where that's coming from, but again, wonderful, really lovely. It doesn't project as much as the previous one. It's a little more closer to the skin. It doesn't jump out, but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, there's anything wrong with it. Actually, it's developing quite lovely. It doesn't start out as exciting as the first one, but as it's dry, I mean, as it's drying on here, I'm, I'm smelling a lot of different. Uh, notes in here. It's quite gorgeous actually. Once again, uh, floral fragrances have become really beautiful for me. I love fl flowers. I mean, I've always loved flowers, but floral fragrances were really difficult for me to wear. But within the last couple of years, as you've been noticing on this channel, I've been doing um, more videos about floral fragrances. So I hope you've been enjoying. And if you are a man, do you like wearing flor floral fragrances, guys? Let me know that, please. So that one is Lignum Vitae from Jamaica. That's the first time I've heard about that um, particular flower, although I probably have seen it, but just never figured it out. So next one, we've got the Bahamas, and this is a elder flower. So as you can see right here, it says yellow elder. So elder flower is actually, smells beautiful, and there's actually an elder flower liqueur called uh, Saint Germain that I really love in cocktails. So let's see how this smells. So this one opens up like this. Again, it's the flower. This is really, really beautiful. Beautiful work has been done. This is the inside with a little uh, poem in there, like that. It says, the dazzling volum voluminous petals of radiant elderflower, generous and abundant like the sun, enfold the captivating and mag magnetic fragrance, which also features neroli absolute essence of orange flower, linden blossoms, white woods, and skin musk. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying these. They're very island-like, very fun, really happy fragrances because going to an island, vacation, all that kind of stuff come to mind with these fragrances. And once again, the third one is really gorgeous as well. Really, really lovely. It's like an island in a bottle, just the island foliage and the, the island uh, flowers, the native flowers of that island captured in a fragrance. And for $125, I think that price is really, really awesome. But I'm picking up lots of orange blossom and neroli in this one. Really gorgeous. The linden blossom and some lighter colored wood notes as, as it says. And then some light, uh, again, white musk. It's white musk to me. But truly lovely. So next up we've got St. Thomas. This, these, the last, next three were launched in 2017. So this is a frangipani. That's the flower right there. And it says St. Thomas right there. So let's go ahead and open this up. There's a the frangipani. This is a flower I'm familiar with. I really love this flower. 
There was a frangipani tree where I'm from, and I used to pick the flowers. Actually, they used to fall on the, the ground, and I, because the tree was really tall, and I was little when I was young, and they smelled so beautiful. Love these flowers. So, that's inside the box. That's the fragrance right there. So let's go ahead and smell this. I'm really, really curious. So this one says, the, fragrant, uh, the frangipani flower is bold and exquisite. Aura shimmers in an invigorating saltwater accord blended with opulent absolutes of rose and orange blossom. Deliciously distracting base of creamy vanilla and sultry musk balances the dewy flowers. So it's definitely vanillic. And again, very tropical. This is a definitely a tropical flower. It does have a bit of a coconutty vibe, but I think it's coming from the vanilla. I think that's what's making it a little coconutty. coconutty. And it kind of smells like an island. Again, happy, uplifting, fun, playful, and a bit um, vacation-y because you know, it's all captured in this fragrance. Truly lovely, but it's, it's like not my least favorite, but it's kind of like, second or third favorite, although it's developing still, and I would love to, you know, check this one out and wear it to see how it develops on my skin. But this one's actually very beachy, very, very beachy. Almost like suntan lotion a little bit, which kind of makes it more fun, if that makes sense. So that one is St. Thomas by Nativa, with the frangipani flower as the main flower. So this is Aruba with the flower Wanglo, it's right there. And this one was the one that was created by Jean-Marc Chalan with Hope Freeman. Everything else uh, was created with Laurent Legernac and Hope Freeman. So this is the only one that's with the other nose. So here's the flower, the inside of the box, and that's what's written inside of this box. But uh, I'm not too familiar with this flower. I don't know what a wangelo is, so we'll, we'll find out. Let's see how it smells. Oh, this one's lovely. I can smell it right off. I can get the neroli, I can get the bergamot. It says natural neroli, bergamot, freesia, and rose infused with Persian lime. Evokes the stunning brightness of Aruba's native wanglo flower. Essential dry down of musk, cedar, and amber completes this gorgeous fragrance. It's truly gorgeous. It's, it's tart with some of that lime. It's neroli flower, it's floral, it, it's bergamot, and the freesia. This is probably my favorite so far, but all of them are really great because I think it's the citruses in here and the citrus flowers that's really doing it for me. Really, really beautiful. Again, very happy, lively, fun, uplifting kind of fragrance. If these are the fragrances that you would wear when you're down, you're moody, you know, you're kind of like down, sad or something. These really do, do uplift you and kind of transport, to transport you to kind of like an island setting because you've got the flowers and uh, the 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 flora and the fauna, I guess the flora of the islands captured in, in a bottle. So again, price-wise, it's really, really great. $125 per bottle. I think that's a no-brainer, great price. Last but not least, we've got the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic is, um, features elegant Bayahibe rose infused with natural orange blossom, juicy grapefruit, red berry accents, and the dry down is of warm sandalwood and cedar. Uh, cocooned in a veil of transparent musk elevates the floral sensuality. Again, these are all exotic flowers from native lands or native islands, and this is the Bayahibe Rose. It's right here, the Dominican Republic, as you can see there. And I love rose, so we'll see how this is compared to other rose fragrances. The inside of the box is right there. Very rosy, but it has a little bit of a tropical vibe to it. It's also got woodiness and a bit fruitiness from the berry. Pleasant. This feels a lot more young. It's got, I think that berry note is kind of giving it like a more young and vibrant kind of an energy to it, uh, a younger spirit. So this is probably uh, one for younger noses, but I think it's still very, very pleasant for everyone to wear. And it's just a fun fragrance. It adds this fun factor to it, a happy factor to it that makes it very, very pleasant. All of the fragrances were beautiful. And if you love flowers and you want to learn about various flowers from different islands, the, the native flowers from the different islands, this is the brand to actually uh, check out. And if you're a floral fragrance fan, I think you're going to love these. 
Guys, let me know what your favorite flowers are currently and what your favorite islands are if you uh, have any islands that you travel to because I like to find out just in general. But if you want to participate in this giveaway that we're doing, Nativa is giving away three bottles to USA and or Canada subscribers of this channel. Uh, and you get to pick your favorite one that I discussed today, the one that sounds the best to you. So just let me know what your favorite flower is currently. Also let me know what your favorite island is. And also please let me know which one sounds the best to you and put down your state and or country, which is Canada, to qualify for the giveaway. Also let me know in general, do you like the idea of this brand of flowers, exotic flowers from native islands or islands in general? Do you uh, love floral fragrances in general? And if you do, what are some of them? Let me know, let's get a conversation started. Also, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll be back with more videos very soon and hopefully to bring you another new brand that you might have never heard of that you should definitely check out. All right guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, there is a subscribe button below, please subscribe as well. Thank you so much, have a good one, goodbye.